never understood how you can be with the same person just day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. I just don't get that. Oh my God. I, I stay focused by blocking out the world. Too many complications with a modern day girl. I'd rather stack money taking trips around the world. Part introvert, expert, an expert at living skirts. I stay low key, but when I stunt, I can make it hurt. I go berserk within the girls. They want to call me jerks. They get mad because I'm the one that can make them squirt. I stop they flirt, send them back. That really make them hurt. My name is Anthony Spade, the red pill coach. Teach you how to get that money and not get ghost content. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, the first thing I want you to do is do me a huge favor and go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, hit that notifications button so you can get a notification whenever I do release a video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, Life with Anthony Spade, the link is in the description below. All right, today we're gonna be a reacting to a video of Howard Stern and Bill Mayer explaining why he never got married or have kids. The reason for me doing this video is because his thinking is what a lot of men feel nowadays about being alone, about chasing a dream in the whole concept of marriage. All right, with no further ado, go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get to it. Probably not gonna get married. I definitely don't want kids with your devotion to comedy. Do you think a wife would have gotten in the way of that? Would that have shifted your focus to the point that you couldn't be funny in a way? I guess so, but that's not why I never got married. No? I mean, it's funny, as I listen to you, you know, as we've repaired our relationship, yes. one of the nice things about it is I've been able to listen to you. Also, you're in the car always now. <laughs> right. So it's fantastic. And, <laughs> yeah. I, and you know, I really enjoy it. I'm a fan. Thank you. And, as and I am of you. And yeah. what I find is that we're alike in so many ways, except that way. Right. You know, you ask me, if it, is, it, is it the career that would hurt the marriage? No, it's not that. It's just that I never understood how, I mean, I've tried to have relationships. I've been in love. I've known some amazing couple right <laughs> women <laughs> uh, some not so amazing uh, but no, they look a lot great of women are but, just more amazing. but, <laughs> yeah. but I, I never understood how you can be with the same person just day after day week after week month after month year after year i just don't get oh that oh my god but, I and i agree with him that's one of the things that that's one of the things that i don't understand because with me, I have a lot going on. I have a lot of dreams. I have a lot of things that I want to do with my life. And between both channels that I have, you can see I stay a pretty busy man. But when I'm around the same person, not just the women I'm dealing with, but just the same person in general, I get bored. One thing about it is friendships are always good when there's still room for learning. What do I mean by that? When you and a woman still have room to learn, the friendship is always good. That's why it's not good to be around each other every day. It's the same thing with day-to-day -day life, friends, and marriages. As long as there's room to grow, the friendship is there when you're still learning each other. Once you know everything about each other, then being around each other becomes very aggravating. And this is why marriage sucks so bad. It's because you have to ignore how you really feel in order for the situation to continue find it so oh, I know you do. wonderful yes. and relaxing right. and that I don't feel that pressure. Right. And, and you know how weird it is to bring somebody new into your life. I mean, yes, there's an excitement. He's used to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't you seriously worry that like somebody could like, like you know, go to the press about it. something happens and the, you, know, you know what I mean? I mean, yes, you're not, all, in, you're not in. I understand Howard Stern. What he's talking about is he's saying that at the level that he's at, isn't he afraid about bringing a random person into his home, into his life because of who he is? They could expose him or they could have it out for him. You got to realize the Me Too movement. Most of these girls are girls that are one night stands that have showed up just to have sex with someone who has money. And that's what Howard Stern is saying. Like, hey, you know, in the industry with these girls, just banging out different girls can get you in trouble. That's why he enjoys being married. But me an idiot and you're not going to bring in some you know some maniac first of all if you're a nice person and yeah. treat people well that's much less of a concern most people who get in trouble it's because they do schmucky things and that's not to say people can't take a shot at you just because they see you're an easy target people do that all the time and i'm aware of that but you can't live your life worrying about what bad shit might happen i agree i agree and that's one thing that i like to teach on this channel you cannot live in fear 
A lot of people that live in fear, you gain a lot of knowledge. The more knowledge that you gain, the more fearful you are of society. That's the bad thing about being red pill sometimes is that a lot of you guys overanalyze life. The more you overanalyze life, the more you're going to live in fear. The more you live in fear, the more you're going to shut off a lot of things that you could do with your life. That's actually exciting. It's just that you're fearful as to what can happen. This also goes in with success. A lot of guys are not successful because you fear failure. That's true. But you love being alone. You love have said it. that. You love, love it. it. In other words, you wake up right. in the morning, you're happy to be by yourself. Correct. And if something funny hits you, you can write it down. I you can go. You, I your like day. all my time to decide what to do with all my time. What's your day to day? Because I, I, okay, well, I because I like your schedule in my mind that you you um you'll do stand up maybe on a weekend. Right. See, I'm with him on that. I enjoy my time alone, but I also like to chill with women. But I spend 90% of my time alone. Like right now, it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm alone because when I wake up, my brain is fresh and it's ready to go. It's not like you're waking up next to somebody that you regret being with. The worst thing that you could do is be in a relationship with someone that's the wrong person. It screws up your whole morning. Right. Most comedians I speak to do not yes. love hitting the road. Oh, no. Is it possible in your career now at the point that you're at, because you're well known on TV, you're famous. Can you bomb on a given night? No. No. You can't bomb because the people who come, first of all, I'm doing this 40 years. Yeah. You can't, you don't bomb. But uh, the people who come to see you are people who paid a hard money ticket. That's the only place I work. I get offered lots of things. I don't want to work corporate gigs. Why? Because I'm not a corporate person. I and I'm with him on that. A lot of people, one thing that you have to learn about life, corporate is it's worse because you have to follow agendas in corporate everybody that works inside of a corporation are bots you have no freedom to do nothing the guy that wants to move up in promotion in a corporate has to kiss the boss's ass that's just how it is when it comes to corporate you are a certified bot and it would stress you out that's why when it comes to women women that work in corporate always have the worst attitude because they cannot pair bond because they are a bot who has to play a certain role every day that they show up to that corporation. That drains your soul. When someone could pay you to act a certain way, that drains your soul. So you have to actually understand what makes you happy, the money or self-understanding. I get these calls and the money is outrageous. Right. It's like triple what you'd normally make in a night. I don't care what the money is. That's another great thing about being this age. You cannot buy me. Right. Time is so much more important than money to me. To get me to do something, you could offer me millions of dollars to go to Dubai and do a show. No. Millions of dollars will not change my life. I'm a simple guy. Right. Uh, you know, people say, how'd you get enough money to buy into the Mets? You have no overhead. I said, no wives, right. no alimony, no, no children. Yeah. No uh. You hear that? No wives, no alimony, no children. All of these things cost money. That's what people don't understand after the word love. It's like now it costs money. When people want to fall in love and people are desperate and people need companionship, mix that with a guy who can't control his desires. You put everything into it, but it drains your soul. It costs money to be in a relationship. It costs money to be married. It costs money to have kids, but people want all of these things just based on the word love. Love doesn't have a definition to it. Love doesn't have a cost to it. Love is just an emotional feeling. The difference is men, men stay inside of wanting to be in love longer than women. Women typically realize love costs money. That's why I tell you guys, women mature knowing about men faster than men learn about women. And women learn the cost, which is why hypergamy is one of their number one female nature traits. Stupid hobbies. What the, I no, know. I'm no, not a, no car collecting. No car collecting, no jewelry, no bling, no hookers, no heroin, no gambling. You know, I just like what I like. Weed, and people give me weed. I never have to buy weed. 
See, a minimum lifestyle, minimum list lifestyle is something that I preach here on this channel. And the reason why minimum list lifestyle is there is because you actually find the core of what makes you happy. Too many people put money and satisfaction into materialistic things and being around other people. People feel like when you're alone that you're a loser, that being next to somebody feels like you're somebody. That's where you lose at. You have to learn to be a minimum list in life. Once you could be a minimum list in life, then you take back your happiness because society, the internet, and the world that we live in that deals with marketing and advertising says that you're not happy unless you're popular. You're not happy unless you drive this car. You're not happy unless you wear these clothes. You're not happy unless you have this jewelry, this house, and everything that's on Instagram. Ah, you're perfect. <laughs> oh my God. All right, and that was Howard Stern. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The moral of the story here is a lot of guys are choosing not to get married and is choosing to remain single because they're finding happiness and being alone, living a minimalistic lifestyle. In the world that we're going in now, the agendas are here, the agendas are set. You just have to learn how to strategize around it. And when it comes to a woman, if she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.